Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Bangkok. It's another day, another episode. And it might be like a deja vu if you've seen one of the uh, last few videos. But today again, I would shoot uh, like a queue with a flash. And in this case, it's uh, like promised again on, uh, on the lens. And I will later talk about why I've been shooting here lately uh, a lot with the Leica Q, especially at night with the flash in the same location. There's a reason for it. Maybe you can guess what kind of reason it might be. But like I said, a little bit later on, more about that. So I would say without further ado, a Leica Q, Bangkok. Let's go. Do you see the guy sitting on the stool? Well, I wanted to take a photo of him sitting there, but then, unfortunately, the motorbike guy got in the way. What a cool character, luckily there are many around that area and it won't be the last one in today's episode. Alright, so now why is it that I film a lot of episodes here? Well, it's uh, basically I come here uh, to shoot sort of a project because I've been shooting here since uh, 2018, I think, uh, here in Chinatown with the same setup, the Leica Q and the Flash. And that's what I'm doing. And in these videos, I just bring you along uh, while I shoot for my project. So that's basically is it. And for uh, my project, it's uh, very important that I have uh, consistency in it. So the same camera, the same setup, same flash. I also use uh, um, the, the uh, orange gel on the flash. It's exactly the same since I'm start, since I started doing this uh, 2018. So this is pretty much the reason why I filmed a lot of episodes here. Because I just, just simply love to come here and it's never getting boring. It's always something new and today it's a Friday night and it's super crazy busy here. So yeah, it's awesome for shooting and I'm always looking for characters because there's quite a, a few characters around here, so yeah, let's uh, shoot some more here in Chinatown and Bangkok. told you that there are cool characters around this neighborhood. He was also in another episode that I did. Maybe you remember which one it is. If you do, let me know in the comments.
If you're wondering about how I edit my images, I use my color profiles for Lightroom. Check them out, the link is in the video description. Watch the video until the end where I show my favorite prints from this episode and you'll also be able to win one of those. Alright guys, so what will I do with this uh, project? So. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, that doesn't mean that I <laughs> will uh, do another zine with it or something like that. Um, I just realized that I like doing this, like coming here, like shooting here at night. And so I want to keep doing it and whatever w or wherever it will uh, take me, we'll see in the future. So about the settings that I'm using, they also, I try to keep them consistent. Uh, I'm shooting right now, I'm um, 1 30th of a second, so I'm Bouncing around between 1 15th to 1 60th, sometimes maybe 1 8th if it's really dark. Aperture, usually it's f8. And uh, ISO 800. And that's pretty much it. And I'm using zone focusing. So basically, most of the time I'm uh, focused to 0.7 meters. That usually gets the job done. If I want to get really close, I maybe drop it to 0.5. But that's about it. So these are the settings uh, that I'm using. and. And I mean, you, you can see it in the video, it's so busy here and uh, yeah, I mean, with a flash, it's not a problem. Ah, by the way, talking about the flash. So I'm right now I'm 1 16th power. Um, sometimes I go to 1 8th, depends on the situation, but usually 1 8th or 1 16th, somewhere around there, which is not a lot of power, especially when you consider that the gel in front here will probably cut down a little bit of light, uh, maybe half a stop, two thirds of a stop or something like that. Right guys, let's keep on shooting here in Chinatown in Bangkok. The next photo is the perfect example of a missed timing. I was maybe half a second late, but there is nothing you can do. Things just happen so fast. If you want to learn from me in person, come to one of my workshops. For more info, check out my website. Oh, and by the way, I might have one coming up later this year in Mexico, so watch out for that one. Okay. 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 
xe lo đi Bỏ cơm bộ vô Don't forget to check out my street photography scenes with pictures from all over the world. The link is also in the video description. Sometimes it's worth checking out these abandoned alleyways. You never know what you might come across. Alright guys, that's it. Uh, that's the episode here today or tonight from Bangkok shooting the Leica Q with uh, the Black Promise and the cute little flash here, the orange gel. I hope you like this episode and if you do so as always, you know what to do. Smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we will see each other very soon in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen. Okay guys, here are my favorite prints from uh, today's episode. In order to win one, just leave a comment below in the video. Let me know which of the photos from the whole episode is your favorite. And I will pick, pick a random winner and I will send you whatever print you want from this episode. All right, let's start with this one. Um, what I like here is the colors, the tones. I mean, this all works, blends in perfectly, all very bluish, except uh, the skin. Um, and also I think what I also like is the guy is perfectly in focus and everything else here is out of focus because I focus very close. Um, and yeah, I think I also like the out of focus area here. There's lots of all these people, the, the guys with the hats, they always look identical. And I think this all together uh, works pretty well. All right, on to the next one. And it's this one here. It's the one where I miss the timing. I still, I'm still liking the photos. The, the sun is like totally oblivious. He probably doesn't care that they are here in Chinatown on a, I think it was a Friday night. Uh, so yeah, really liking this one. Next shot is uh, this guy here. And yeah, I mean, he's such a cool character. So I had to include this in into my favorites. And another cool character was this guy here that I already shot uh, in another episode. Um, and I mean, it's very, if you see him in the episode, you will know. <laughs> he's such a cool guy. Uh, and here it almost looks like uh, out of a horror movie. I mean, he's so skinny. I mean, I don't know how old he is. So he's probably mid seventies or older and very skinny because he's not wearing a shirt. It looks, <laughs> I'm, I'm really liking this photo. It's pretty cool. All right, uh, let's show you my Overall winner, so to speak, my favorite image from the episode, and it has to be, it has to be this one here. That was so such an, uh, a random thing to see. This encounter was, <laughs> I had no, absolutely no idea when I was walking this dog anyway, but yeah, perfect. And the way the dogs are distributed here, it's perfect. And they were not even barking. That was really funny. Um, funny uh, fun fact. I met her again uh, a few days later when I shot another episode. Um, <laughs> yeah, but in a different spot. But this spot was perfect. 
absolutely cool. I'm really liking this. It's so random, but yeah. That's the good, the beauty of, of street photography. Sometimes you the, the most random things, uh, they make it worthwhile doing it. And also here, what I like is, um, because I was using the Black Promise filter, you can see the, the highlights here. There's this halo around the highlights. They're very, uh, this bloom effect. I mean, this looks pretty cool, so. All right, guys, these are my favorite shots from today's episode. <laughs>